Hello guys, good day to all. So today I'm going to teach you how to paint a landscape with with a very bright light, more morning light, with a road and the cliffs and with lots of flowers. So before that, I'm going to introduce to you my my materials. I have here my paint palette. I have here the titanium white, the bronzena, the medium yellow, the 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 brilliant red, the lamp black, and the, the tallow blue. And I have here my brushes. I have here the pointed round brush, a flat small number one brush, and the flat number four, flat medium small, and a medium a small number two. I have here the resold flat number twelve. And this one is the, the number, but a small round bristle, pointed brush, pointed round, pointed number 12, and a flat number 8, number 6. And this is my canvas. I made it myself. I, I staple it on, on a plywood. But you can buy your canvas on the, on the art store if you want so on my medium is the only water okay. okay so let's start with the sketching so I'm gonna use now um, this small flat brush with the burnt china Okay, I add I added a little water to make it more uh, fluid. Okay, so I'm going to add I'm going to add the road here. So we're gonna have a very big road here. Okay. Then I have, I'm going to put some some trees here, and it's gonna be dark on this part, and this part will be so light that I think um, it's a morning light from the sun. Um, it's gonna be so bright. I'm going to add leaf here. Another cliff and a forest here. I'm going to add a forest here. To add more cliff and with some with some flowering plants here. And so here and also here. Okay. Okay, I think we're done with our sketch, so we we'll start with the coloring now. And uh, I'm going to use wait. Okay, this brush. I have no bigger brush here, so I'm gonna use this one. You can use bigger bigger flat brush than this one it's more fast on and and bigger yeah okay so I'm going to mix um, I want it to be uh, yellowish or brown so I'm going to use the yellow with a little burnt senna and white you can actually use a bigger brush if you want it's more quick so adding here remember guys these are just the base layers or the first coats 
We can add later the the details. This will be um, the light part, which is directly hit by the sunlight. So I'm gonna add some light here. Okay. Okay, I think that's okay. I'm going to add some trees here, like um, forest trees. This is the blue, with the yellow, and some red. The red guys will make the color more matured. You observe that I am just using um, primary colors on every tutorial I have. It's really a good foundation to because um, you can you can you you will know how to mix the right color color and and that's a good practice. And that's how I started. Okay. Okay, these are just uh, my base colors, so we're going to retouch this later. Just follow everything I did here, guys. Okay. I'm gonna add some I will be using a brown color on on the cliff. So I'm just use the burn sena add a little black yellow and white. I will make it so bright or having some misty effect. Okay guys, remember that these are just the, the first coat or the base colors. So, we will add the, the second coat la layer later. Okay, let's cover this one. Remember guys to play with the colors. It's very important to to know how to mix it well or the right amount and it's very relaxing also if you know or discover the right amount or the right mixing of a particular color so guys learn how to mix that's why I'm always using the primary colors aside from the Burns Jenna Okay. So I'm gonna add more dark here, this part. So I'm going to use the burn china and the blue. Burn china and the blue. Okay. More burn china. Okay. Okay guys, as I said, always remember that it's good to play with the colors as you observe in my tutorial that um, I just put any kind of color I want. So again guys, these are just the base colors. It's not the final yet. So just play with it. Okay guys, uh, just remember to follow what I did on the screen. So you see and as you observe on my videos so I am now I'm adding some base colors on on this particular area okay 
Um, I found out my bigger flat brush, so I think it's better to use this one. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to add uh, the dark part here, the dark green part here. So, of course, I'm going to mix that green and the black. I know the blue and the black and the gray alone. Okay. If it feels really uh, hard or the paint is really hard, so just add a little water. Okay. Okay, so and also here, this part will be so dark. Don't put uh, the black directly, it's really not good. So, you can use dark green, dark bluish, that's better than adding black directly. Most artists don't really like black. So as you observe in my tutorials, I'm mixing it with other colors like blue, green, red, or or bonchena to make it a um, not so black or just dark. Okay, so add some some tree here. Okay, let's just sing this photo. This rush. Display the texture of the tree. So the texture of your of your leaves will depend on your brush. So so just play with it. Um practice using your brush. That's very important. Okay, I added um, yellow tone here. Okay, and the last one, the last part here is the, the call this the, the red. So I'm going to mix the panchena and again the blue. I mix it with blue guys um, to make the color more matured. Okay. You observe that it's not brown, so the color might be um, a little bluish. It's um, as I said, it's more matured with if it has um bluish tint. Okay. Anyway, this is your. These are just the best call. Best, uh, the first coats. So we have to say first coat and best call. So the the first coats. So we'll just add the next coat later, if the paint is dry. Or it's a little dry. Okay, so I think we're gonna need to to let it dry first before we add the the next layer. And and because it's acrylic, it dries fast. That's why it's it's one of the advantages of using acrylic than oils. And it's odorless also. That's why it's much more safer compared to oil paints. So I guess um, we will wait for at least five minutes to to let it dry. Hello guys, I think the paint has dried now and we do start with a second coat Okay, so I'm going to use the, the, the white here I'm sorry guys that you won't see any more um, details on this area because of the camera seating So here I'm adding the or some some details or white details for the sunlight 
just add pure white in this part to make it more bright to, to look it more bright so that's it okay okay I think we're going to retouch the the color of the, uh, the trees okay that just mix the yellow the branches now and the white I think I'm gonna use the pizza brush Here. I am adding here the the highlights of the tree so you observe that it's too white or too bright uh, because of I want it to have more light from the sun so guys again just follow what I did so it's very hard to talk to talk more here while painting Okay. Okay. I'll add um I'll mix uh yellow green. here okay Okay, and start to add some details on the on the cliff. Um, I'm going to use the flat brush, the medium flat brush. Okay, I'm going to use the panchena, the yellow, and the black, which is white. I'm gonna add the highlight first. Remember, guys, that almost every time I mix the colors or the paints. Um, I added um, a little water on it to make it more more fluid or more more soft I add, uh, I add more yellow to make it more yellowish okay just follow my stroke guys uh, on or on how I hold the brush okay Let's do it um, upward, the upward strokes. Well, just uh, follow what I did as you see on the video. Can I just add more? white here light colors
aqui. Oh, yeah, the little darker on the, on the other part. So, I guess mix. One Senna and blue. Some black. And white. make it lighter it is very important to know how to mix guys so as what you observe in my tutorial again that I'm always using um, the primary colors I don't want to use the, the commercialized colors or the pre-mix colors like green violet because I want you to learn how to mix the right colors on a particular color so that's very important in learning um, the basics of painting. Okay. Uh, lighter just use the color you have there or the the one that you have mixed for the brown and just add um, um, a little white to make it lighter just what, uh, as what you see on the highlight area or what I'm doing now okay Okay, so I guess that's um, I'll add some uh, I guess I'll add some some um, vegetation at the top. Okay, I'm going to mix the, the yellow and the blue, the blue and the little red and white and yellow. Lighter, lighter highlights. Lighter highlights with yellowish tone. Okay. Make it more light. Okay, so I'm gonna add more here on the on the bottom.
Okay. And more light. Okay. One more here. And also in the highlights of the trees. Okay. So don't, don't over the uh, highlights. Make some spaces. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna add more darker um, tree here. So I'm going to use the bigger brush, this one, and I'm going to mix the blue, the yellow, and the red. I'll make it more lighter. Okay. Painting is really fun. I need more blush. I think I'm gonna add some bluish, bluish tone on this part on the on the shaded part to make it more misty, misty. So let's mix blue and white and little black. I think I'm gonna add a little green, a yellow. Okay, a little more black. More black. Okay, white. It's important to experiment, guys. It's what you observe on me on this part. I'm gonna use the uh, this brush result. I will blend it or glaze it um, using this brush. It's 
it's more suitable and it's easy because of its bristle tip mm. it's okay guys you don't have to do this also um, the result is still almost the same but this one is um, I'll just add some little effect on the on this part yeah I think that's more good okay back, back to the oh, more lighter I am also experimenting here guys uh, for for Mr. Salt so you can follow just follow it. everything I did in the on the video or as you see me here Adding more highlights for China and white and yellow. Again, guys, just follow me. And how I add uh, the highlights here. Uh, I'll bend it more, make it more smooth. I like some highlights on this, um, these trees. Using the yellow and the one inch flat brush, this is a very nice job or suitable for this job. So carefully add add it on top of the leaves um, don't overdo it um, make some spaces and just follow what I did on, on the video okay. The result will depend on the brush you are using. So, always practice your brush, guys. It's very important. Okay, I think that's a good result now. So, again, guys, practice your brush. It will depend on how you hold your brush. And practice makes perfect. I'm going to make it dark here first um okay blue and black and red a little yellow okay Also this part. Here. Um, I wanted to make it more solid. It's better to be uh, that way. Okay. So next I'm going to add some tree here. It will be um, lighter. Bonsena, Bonsena, <coughs> Bonsena, black and white. 
and yellow. Okay. Make sure guys to hold your brush carefully or firmly um, and use the the pointed kind brush, the round, the round brush. It's good for this job and it's better to use smaller than I use. And it's very bright or light guys because of the of the light coming from the back or from the sun and some here and here so yeah okay I want this um, three brands to make it to me more dark more solid Again, the same color. Ah, uh, it's some bluish. Okay. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna add some one more tree here. I'm using the dark color like burn china with black or blue. Um because um it's off light. For the little highlights. Just add a little white to the color. Okay. I like a uh, little um, um, processor or vegetations. So I'm gonna add some blue. Yellow, little red, and white. Little red, blue. Okay. The color, guys, is more bluish because it's in the in the in the shadow part or shaded part of the forest okay. okay so let's add some some leaves on the tree okay it's the blue the yellow and a little black or red more more okay i'll add more red and yellow
¿sí? Added more yellow. Okay. I add a little highlights on the on the leaves, so just add a little white with a little blue. Need more blue. This area are dark, so I think and I am. Okay, I think that's fine now. And I'm going to add more uh, highlights in this part. And it's using this flat brush. Okay, just use the yellow and white and a little blue and a little red apply it directly okay. Going to to put some some big, uh, bigger flowering plants here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use some um, yellow and only white. I'm gonna shift to the smaller brush because I'm gonna add also here so again this same color yellow and white using the smaller flat brush okay so here Let's add more highlights in the in the vegetations below. Okay. 
Sí. Okay. So it's very very light. Okay, so let's add more yellow here. I'm gonna add some flowers on this plant later. You observe, guys, that uh, the highlights of the the tree of this of this of this plant is very very bright uh, it's because the sunlight is coming from behind so i think it it is the one, one more reason it has uh, this kind of transparent effect yeah so that's how i think about that Okay, so okay, let's add more. I'm gonna add more here, but I think uh, we add um, darker, fresh is the okay, a little bluish. Okay, let's add more. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to need to put a uh, little more details here. Okay, and here. With some grasses. Okay. Wow, that's very, very um, nice. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to, to add some details on our road. Okay, on our road, I think I'm gonna make some, some brown china using this um, rounded pointed brush. Okay, Bonchena and black and yellow. More Bonchena. White. And a little blue. Okay. Okay. You can use um, a bigger brush, guys, for for this job, so that it will um, you can finish it quickly. Okay. 
so you observe guys that I'm doing some 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 horizontal um, quick strokes uh, I don't know how you call it um, maybe you just need to follow the follow what I did in the video yeah, and make sure that you experiment it well um, do some practice with your brush uh, until you come out with, uh, with the same result as mine it's very important guys okay so I think I'm gonna need to add some more details same color I'm going to add more details on the board um, this one is like um, the the prints of the of the wheels or I don't know I don't know what it what, what you call this so maybe you just need to follow what I did okay I'm gonna put some dark here you can also create your own your own details on your road or on your painting it's all up to you so you can you can put in a rocky rocky road or or muddy road it's it depends on your imagination so you, you are free guys It's just the black and burnt sienna for the dark. Uh, we call this area casted shadows from the forest. So this part should be more bluish and brownish in color. So later we'll, you'll see how I mix it with blue. I'm going to add some, some bluish tone on top of it same strokes adding some some bluish tone so as you as you as what i've said earlier earlier so it will make the it will make the area more cold or or more realistic i guess Okay. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add more details in this uh, light area. Let's just the burn sienna again, and the yellow, and white, another burn sienna. Just follow me, guys. Uh, everything I did, I, I'm doing here. Just follow me. Okay. Ok, 
Okay. Adding some more half tones. Um, it's definitely a um, yellowish half tones. So this part is um, the boundary of the casted sh shadow and the uh, light. So it's very important to have a smooth blending in this area. So practice it. I'm gonna add more light. It's just the yellow and the burn center. White. More yellow. I'll retouch it with more highlights in this area to be more specific with the lighting effects. So this one also helps to make it more more realistic. So again guys, blend it well and and just follow what I did on the video. Okay, add some little highlights. Okay, oh, I'll add more details. Let me use the pure white. Adding some small sunlit, and uh, it's also important to put um, this kind of effects. It will add more beauty on 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 the painting. Okay. sunlight here in doing this you all, all you have to do is to to use the the same color as you put on the light area so just play with it okay remember guys to always practice using your brush the more you have experience with with your brushes, you will learn more the techniques on on achieving uh, an effect. The more you have experience with it, the more you will improve. So success is always based on in your experience. It's um brown hole. Okay. I'll add some light paper. 
highlights on the on the vegetations okay some color just light green just add more white and yellow remember guys not to put um, light colors on the on the shaded area on the or, or on the shadow area because um this area should be more cold or dark in the looks so if you use yellow just add more blue or red uh with red to make it more colder so that's one of the one of the elements to make it more um realistic then then putting direct color like like pure green I think I'm gonna need to make the the road bigger. I need to try to retouch this part a little bit because the perspective is not really that good. So I think I'm gonna fix this one first. Okay, I think that's been a little better than previous one. Well, let's continue with the with the tree. I think I'm gonna add a little highlights in this area. It's the same yellow with with white. Okay. A little highlights. And add more white. So as you observe, guys, um, the result will always depend on how I hold my brush. You can also use the fan type brass for this for this job. So it's always depend on, on the brass that you're using. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, I think I'm gonna add more flowers on the on our on this part. I'm gonna need green. No. <laughs> Red. I'm gonna add some pink flowers on this then. So red vegetation. I'm gonna start with the pink. You can use some um, a smaller round brush for this job. Uh, I think um, number two or laser. That's fine. Okay. 
Oh. And I'm gonna add some dark here. More light. Wow, that's uh, beautiful flowers. I think I'm gonna add this one also. This one should be a little dark. Okay guys, um, I'm going to add some orange flowers on the far side that might uh, look nice, I guess. So, you can copy or you can make your own. It always depends on how you look. Um, the beauty on, uh, on this painting, on all your painting, you know, if, if you're gonna copy this one. Let's add more orange, uh, orange flowers. I'm going to add it here. You can add any kind of colors of your flowers if you want. It all depends on on what what plants you're going to add or flowers. So this part I like it to be more dark. The color should be darker, so I add some bansana. See here. I think I'm gonna add more uh, white this time. So just plain white. And on the dark part is add um, black, little black to make it gray. So add it here. The value of the color, guys, is also important, or the one mo the more most important thing to achieve a realistic effect. So if it's in the shaded area, just add black. To make it darker if it's in the light area so just add white to make it um, lighter 
see here. Everywhere, lots of flowers. Then I have more highlights in this part. Okay, white and uh, yellowish. Okay. A little more. We touch. I think I'm going to add some D3 here. Okay, I'm going to use, use black, burn senna, yellow, and white. Make sure, guys, that the, that the base of the Three is bigger than the top, and that's how we look at the tree. So yeah, you may just copy what I did here, or you can create your own, your own artistic tree. So just get the idea of how I do it, then you can create your own. That's the most important of this tutorial. Yeah. gonna be a D3 okay, using the point of the the tip of the of the round pointed brush you can use uh, you can make a very small detail of the branch Let's put some put some details in this. In white. These highlights are reflected from the road. So you see that it is facing to the road. So that's also a good effect to be to make it more realistic. Okay. And a little plant in this area.
Mm. One more, one more thing. We need some more light. On this tree. So this is the light green. This is the last part. Okay, um, I think we're done, guys. So, thank you for watching. And if you want to copy this one, so let me know. Let me let, share it with me. Um, I will be happy if I can see your work or your painting following this tutorial. So that's very nice. So, guys, practice with your brush and. Keep painting. Thank you very much.